offer your students insight into their abilities and interests within their fields? One of the first things that I think happened with the service learning project is that the students had a chance to choose what interests them. So having the community um, people come to the class the second day was an extraordinarily interesting process. Uh, the students lined up along one side of the table and the, and the, uh, the supervisors, the hosts, were on the other side. So I thought, well, this is really an interesting dynamic. I wonder what's going to come out of this and sort of happen to it. So the students were tremendously excited. And I think the hosts were really kind of curious. I'm not sure if all of them had been on campus really before. So one of the things that was exciting for me is that a former student of mine turned out to be one of the uh, site hosts, um, Maria Koplowitz, who, um, who is pregnant with twins at the moment. So her and the co-owner of Stewart's Coffee House. So she came. and. The students had an opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one, uh, with these site hosts who stayed on and talked to them individually. They took it very seriously, They um, both, both people did, but the students actually waited a week almost before making up their mind and they sometimes they called, called back and asked for the questions about it and, and so forth. But I think the other thing is that even within the classroom context where people are doing papers, it's a different kind of experience to choose a project that might draw on other talents that you have. For instance, I didn't know that uh, Lisa Wunderlich and Robin Spink were good muralists until they decided to do this project together. Or that uh, Seth Meisel, who uh, came with some background in uh, industrial design, absolutely fell in love with the chair project because he loves the design of chairs. and so. Ali, who was kind of interested in architecture and design, and, and he wound up collaborating on this project out of that uh, common interest. Sometimes in the past, uh, students in graphic design have taken the class, and in, uh, in this occasion, uh, Derek uh, joined us, and his particular interest was in being able to actually execute a project that would relate to his talents as a, as a graphic designer. And this will be an important component of his portfolio. So he's someone for whom the, the, the merging of these two issues will be um, very beneficial uh, because it's a kind of endorsement that you did something for an institution as prestigious as Western and for the Western Gallery. And indeed, in the museum community, more and more um, museums are beginning to take on publication and educational kind of roles than they have um, in the past. 